the desire to touch the people to win the world wants to touch them. It is God's will that none should perish, but all should have everlasting life. And that is why we hear friends. The Bible also says that without a vision, we will perish. There is a whole world outside that is dying, who does not have a direction, who are lost. And it is only possible that we equip them with the word of God, and that is what we do. And that should I equip everyone are all around us with the word of God. Is checking, testing my opinions. Right from Friday to Bible study to Mr. Speechy, the Rima word is okay for him to speak. I have seen favor from God here and breakthroughs in my hands. I thank the Lord for his son, Mr. Pakun Joshua here, and for throwing open your hands. There are people like me who are seen, we have been part of our family. What was my life before when I came to Alison I Mystery? I got a, such a beautiful spiritual father, Pastor Deepak, and I think he is an awesome guy. He's a being, a very true inspiration for my life. It's more of a, more of like a discipleship training center where uh, each and every individual is being trained and taught the word of God. The most, uh, most part, uh, the important thing is the importance is given to the word of word of God and the love through the word of God. Uh, uh, to make a maximum outreach to the uh, people out here in the city and to nations. Happy to be a part of this church and uh, to, be, uh, to be led by the spiritual father, uh, the pastor people. So nice. We are here at Pastor Deepak's El Shaddai Ministries. Like we have learned so much, not only that because I come even to the home cell, which is also a wonderful way where Pastor Deepak teaches us the word, the inside meanings where I have not got anywhere else and which has been given us such a growth of such uh, great revelations in the word of God. I'm just so grateful that God brought us with Pastor Deepak to know and to understand his word in a good way. What is great is you will take initiative to lead and to guide and to come where I can see him in the master see his way that may go into the plant and to the tree and the forest. Consider not the former things, 
Behold, I am doing a new thing. You may miss an open door because you are looking at a closed door yesterday. And this is what the Lord is saying to you. Stop looking behind because what you are prepared for ahead is going to be so great that you won't even have a thought of what you have gone through. I pray, Lord, each one of us will understand that you never put us down, but you will lift us up. And as to this word will come, every man, every woman, every one of us will put a thousand to shape. The enemy will be under our feet. And two, we are more than two, will defeat ten thousand. Lord, we bless you and we thank you for the coming days that are coming. God is going to be a platform for the glory of God. And we are willing and obedient for your name's sake. In Jesus' name we all say, Amen. Amen. Alright, before we turn, I want to speak to you, for you to understand where I'll be heading. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. Why, why is this important? In 2003, I got this word specifically. Now we were not in this place yet. Those who have visited us in Bandra, no, we were in Bandra. Okay, I, I was not even in this. In 2003, at the turning of the year 2004, this was the word that came so loud that I just was wondering, as I 43, remember not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Don't even remember it. This was a place, India was a place where we had come, we had words spoken against us, this is a place of famine. This was a difficult ground. This was a place where things are not as simple as where you have come from. But at that season, 2003, I heard this voice and I'm speaking to you also. Now stretch forth your head. Because if you will not look behind, you are going to see what signs you have. Behold means start having a vision. Start seeing it and start hearing what God is seeing. Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Behold is to look, is to keep it in front of you, is to keep it in spite of every circumstance and everything else that comes. The worst of years I've seen when we came in 94, the difficulty that we have seen is all today recompensed. So I don't even remember all those kind of pain that we went through because of what God has done in this world. You are not here by coincidence. If you will today believe, I will do a new thing. Now, when is it? Now. Now. Come on. Now. 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 Thank you. Thank you. I want you to speak it loud because the people that declare things ahead of time, they will see it come to pass. Amen. All right, that's why I don't want you to use your mouth for the wrong things. I don't want you to speak negative because what you speak is what will capitalize, what will amplify in your life. Now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. This is going to come to pass before 2030, you will see it. All right, and testimonies after testimonies are going to be amplified. All right, start moving. Because now I'm going to share with you as best the way Saul's life was changed overnight. In a moment. All right, your life is going to be changed in a moment. Because God is the same God yesterday. It was 13 verse 8. The God that you serve is a God that has done things yesterday that is doing things today. That's why you have a witness today. What is a testimony? A witness that, the, that God is working. Jesus Christ the same <coughs> yesterday and today and forever. Alright, so you keep that in mind because the day yesterday. Now what am I believing? That's why I enjoy this. What I saw change in 2004. We got this place Okay, a breakthrough, the walls came down, we never expected something like this to happen. And today, this place is such a blessing for, for so many people. Amen. And does it only end there? It doesn't end there. Because the change of this year, God spoke to the same thing. He said, I'm going to do it again. 
Don't settle down to what change you have come because I can do it again and I will do it again. 2013 is a year of acceleration. All right, for those who are aligned, all right, the alignment is important. You don't make a trip unless you are aligned. All right, you don't make a trip out station unless you make alignment of the wheels. And some of you need your wheels alignment in place. Because once you are aligned, what am I speaking? Speaking about wheels. <coughs> your mind renewed, your thoughts renewed. Because God can take you as far as you can see yourself going. If you believe it, He can do it. The only thing that limits God is what you believe in Him. The measure that you believe is the measure that He can stretch. I truly pray that you will align your wheels, your mind. Start here, instead of hearing the wrong people, association is one of the key of acceleration. What you associate with is what you accelerate with. If you're going to be associating with people who have been there and done nothing, you're going to be doing nothing. If you're going to be as associating with people who are believing for great things, you're going to be seeing great things because God does great things. Here are people who are speaking what God is doing. That builds faith. Start seeing what God is doing and there, are, there is no time. I don't waste a single moment seeing news because all news are mostly negative. What you need to know is the good news. Yes. Come on. Yes. What's, what's the good news? That Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What is the good news? Jesus, he was buried. He died. He rose again. He was buried. He rose again on the third day, and he's today alive. And he's resurrected. And the same today, he's going to do the same. The first thing he revealed to his disciples was, be believing. Don't be unbelieving. If you doubt me, he said to Thomas, you doubt me, touch it. And the, all the records of history, Pastor said, thus all this apologetics study. One of the greatest things that I get thrilled about this man is the way he faces the Muslims with scriptures. That you will see it in YouTube. He showed it to me. That's, that's beautiful because all history declares that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Yes. And that, is, that can be proven as clear. And the same Jesus Christ is going to raise you from any tomb that you are there. Anything that's limiting you is going to lift you up. That's why he was clear that he was not going away and leaving you as orphans. He was sending the Holy Spirit to be with you, to be a counselor, to be a standby. John 14, 26. Comforter, who is the Holy Spirit? 
is with you, he is in you, he is a counselor. That's why decision making is simple when you have Jesus in your life. One of the best things to do is when you are in Christ, you have a counselor. The next thing is that he doesn't only counsel you. I like counselors, but they don't tell us, you know, we're going to help you all the way. They, some of the advices are not required. Because some of the advices only make it more difficult. They tell you how to do it, but they don't help you out of it. He is going to be a counselor. He is going to be a helper. He is an intercessor. I get it. I don't know the comfort that I receive to know behind these closed doors. I can see Jesus praying for me. Can he fail? He can never fail. And I can never fail because he, when he prays, whether others pray or not, and I know people are praying, but my, Jesus is praying for me. He ever liveth to make intercession. That's one person excited. So that's 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 the key to show you know, the very very of mind is. Right? Magnify what 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 is the truth and it will amplify in your life. And the truth sets you free. Alright? Intercessor. He's an advocate. He's a strengthener. He is a standby. I don't know how you understand, but he stands by. Yes. And at the moment when you need him, he's always available. And he's not only only always available, he's always able. How beautiful it is. When you have someone who is always available, when you have someone who is always able, you have no reason to fear. And truly I believe that each one of you will start leaning. I was leaning on this. If not look, I don't think I'm not, alright? But I am, I am depending on the support. Alright? And believe me, some of you are leaning on things that they are shaking. What am I saying to you? Stop leaning. Because these things have been removed for a purpose. Because God loves you so much to show you that some things you cannot depend on. It's wonderful. They were there for the season. They were there for a reason. But they were never meant to be your support. And I truly pray that each one of you should start depending, depending on what the Holy Spirit. Jesus came to die so that each one of us can receive a redemption, a forgiveness of our sins. And not only that, if that was the best news, Paul says, if that was the only thing he had done, that was already the best news. But that was not the end of it. What was the beautiful thing? He left and he said, I'm not leaving you comfortless. I'm leaving you with a comfort. I'm sending the Holy Spirit who is not only going to be with you, he is going to be in you. That you can lean on him at all times. Start depending on the Holy Spirit. Start asking Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit could take away every weight, every burden. Cast every burden unto Him, for He cares for you. First Peter 5 7. He enjoys taking burden. Cast all your care upon Him, for He cares for you. I pray that you people connect with this because when he takes the weight, he deserves the credit. I like I, I find some people allow him to take the weight and takes the credit. Make sure you don't do that. Alright? I don't know how that picture comes across you now that he was seated on the donkey and he walks in. And if that donkey starts thinking, you know, that people are claiming because he has entered, the donkey has entered. Jerusalem, 
He was very much mistaken because it was not about that about him, it was the one who was seated on Remember that he not only takes the weight, he deserves the weight. And what you give to him, he not only takes it as a seed, he brings the harvest back. Amen. When you humble yourself, he lifts you up. When you lift yourself up, the rain will be go down. And I pray that you will be sensitive always to see that God is at work. He is wanting you to start not only leaning. You know why I, why I can lean further? Because I know I can depend on Today, I can stand and do what I need to do. 50 people, the 3,000. Because I do believe that when he saw me through 350, will he not see me through? That's the beauty of it. Start leaning. Start stretching yourself and believing and see how you'll be amazed. But not depending on yourself because 1 Corinthians 1.24 God uses the foolish to confound the wise. But I do which are called. Who are the called? does not call the qualified, but he qualifies the call. Right? So some of you are overqualified. Some of you are underqualified. What is the beautiful thing? If you are underqualified, you are the candidate. How many of you think you are underqualified? That's good. I find more underqualified people. Which is, which is wonderful because what's he going to do? Both the Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. When they never saw the death that was the cross in the power and the wisdom of God. When Satan thought that was the end of it, that was the power and the wisdom of God. Because God uses the foolish to confound the wise. The things that are verse 25. The foolishness of God is wiser than men. And the weakness of God is stronger than men. That's why it's good to start leaning on men. But make sure you're leaning on what you know. Because when you move him, you can leave him. I've been married for 18 years. 18 years. But today I can leave. It's much more because it's 18 years. I was living in love the first year. But now I leave. Because I know I, it's a it's a time test situation. Even without me calling her yesterday, I mean what was what was was really she came and got. I mean I knew it was just coming. That is, that is the beauty of the relationship. Once you have tasted Christ, there is no more any substitute. So here you will see. And the weakness of God is stronger. Verse 26. For you see your calling. Alright. Brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble, noble are called. It's very interesting. God calls not the ones <coughs> that seems to be prominent, but He takes the ones that are down be lifted up because when they are lifted up they know it's it's him that's like this. Are you are you getting it? I want you to remember this because when you are downtrodden you are where you are tomorrow because you know that it's not your ability. You have been a bit available and God has made you able. Verse 27 
But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Verse 28. And base things of the world and things which are. Anybody despising you? You are a God is looking to be honorable. If you have been put down, if you have been despised, despise is a strong word. Alright? Somebody has put you lower than even what you actually understand. Somebody has looked down on you. Has God chosen me the things which are not to bring to not things that are was to mind? What is the word of this? The day you come and stand, you will not talk about yourself, you will talk about you. That's where it is heading. If you know who you are, you will know when you are there, it's not you. Yet you will see, verse 30. But of him are you in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us. See the beautiful thing. Christ is made unto us wisdom, righteousness, sanctification is a big term. Sanctification is holiness. He is made you cool. And redemption. He has brought you back. You were lost, but now you are found. Um, verse 31. Then according as it is written, he that God glorified living God in the world. Alright? The man who was boasting about his religion, about his activities. Acts 26, 9. So, the very person is the candidate that God uses, not the disciples, but the one. I verily thought with myself that I ought to do many things contrary to the name of Jesus. Paul's soul speaking. I wanted to do things that were against Christ. Why? Verse 10. Which thing I also did in Jerusalem, and many of the saints did I. He not only thought, he acted. He was a man of authority. Did I shut up in prison, having received authority from the chief priest? And when they were put to death, I gave my voice against them. They were not only shut in prisons, he went all the way and put them to death. Would you believe God uses a murderer? What am I saying to you? If God can use someone like you, aren't you better than can use you? The very person who was against to the point of murdering the believers. This is one grace that I truly really have received, which a lot of people have told me. They said, you have more grace, that's why you can tolerate more people. We can't. But what, I, what am I saying to you? You do not know what comes from someone who is rejected. As a matter of fact, the reason they are rejected is because Satan is so fearful of them that even the very people that are on the top are blinded by what they are potential of. That's why when I see someone, I start seeing what is what as the person because that is the very thing the enemy is against. Yeah. The same Saul becomes the apostle that wrote three fourth of the New Testament. He has the maximum revelation. And I stand here to say to you that 
that each one of you will be standing to put to shame the very mouths that have spoken. Because those rejections were a reason for your promotion. Here you will see, when they were put to death, I gave my voice against them. He gave his voice against them that he loves when he had an encounter with Christ. He gives his voice for them. When you learn to give your voice to him, he amplifies your voice. That's the first level. I punish them often in every synagogue and compel them to blaspheme. And being exceeding mad against them, I persecuted them even into unto strange cities. What was he doing? He was so violent, aggressive, doing everything. That's why what you have done is nothing compared to what he was doing. If God is looking to him, start looking to yourself on how God looks at you. Seeing yourself. How does God see you? 
What are the wheels of alignment I'm speaking about? Align yourself to the way God sees you. He sees you extraordinary. Because He has invested in you. What is His investment? The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. When He paid at the cross. Your worth and value, if it was not more than that, you wouldn't have paid it. And on top of it, He puts Himself, the Holy Spirit, within you. That's the biggest investment. Is He a loser? How many of you have been watching the Rocky movies? So let's start so. You know what's, what's, I just happened to, to have seen that Rocky 4. Just repeat it somewhere. This guy comes, hits him 15 rounds. He hits him left, right and center. And on the 16th round, he gets up and one, one, and is that is done. What am I saying to you? What I am saying to you is that who is the producer of that movie? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Did he ever portray himself as a loser? Ever. Yeah. rounds were there. Everybody was enjoying it. And he allowed everybody to enjoy it. He made money out of it. That's another point. But if God wants to put Satan, the enemy to shame, he will allow the victory rounds to come. As you are Alright? So don't, don't worry about that 15 rounds that's there. Know for sure that your producer has the investment. Yes. It's not only called Alpha, it's called Omega. He is the author and the finisher of your film. And that's where you need to keep in mind. Let all the applause go as though it seems the enemy is getting, getting some punch, punches. Remember that you will always have the last word because your God is the script writer. He is the book of Genesis, he is the author of Revelation. And the Revelation is your best is yet to come. Your best days are ahead of you. If you will move with the script, where is the script? Everybody enjoyed as far as one lady lifts up the Bible. Move with the Pacific. Move with the world. Alright? Because you are always in the right place at the right time and you do the right punch. Because when we move at the right time, What was the last statement that Rocky made after he, he gets the victory? And a simple, simple message he gives. He is fighting in Russia and so happens it was that whole war season. So the whole public, because of that big move, starts opposing the American. You know what is the message here? Everybody loves everyone. So don't worry about people who right, are around you because it's going to change. It's a matter of time. All right? so some of you are crying over how they have they are responded, how they have reacted. How they have reacted is going to change and actually when they change, you're going to enjoy that. I don't know how much you enjoy that, but I enjoy it a lot. Because today I can look back to the very people 
There were in the 15 rounds were there when they were clapping. Today my clap is the loudest. As we get close, I want uh, whoever wants five, five minutes of okay, event. We are not only speaking, let us immediately apply. Any, any message that is not applicable is not of use. All right, what's the application? You heard it. What is the word? I think your best is coming. Go with the script. All right, who's going to write the script? Jesus. All right, Jesus has written the script. Who's going to write it on earth? Thank you. Thank you. Start speaking it out. Start, start declaring you are a winner even before you see it. All right, your 16 round message has to come on the second round. Otherwise, it will not last. Are you, are you there? You won't go after three rounds. Make sure in the fourth round you're saying, the best round is coming. 